CONIFA, the Confederation of Independent Football Associations, is the football federation for all associations outside FIFA. CONIFA aims to build bridges between people, nations, minorities and isolated regions all over the world through friendship, culture and joy of playing football. And this year, CONIFA is hosting its first ever Women's World Football Cup in collaboration with the Tibetan National Sports Association in Pondasaip, North India, which will start today and the final match will be played on 6 July, the birthday of His Holiness the Dalai Lama. To know more about the upcoming tournament, we have with us the CONIFA Global Women's Director from US, Ms. Dallary Dalton, on today's episode of In Conversation with Tibet TV. Welcome to our show, Dallary. Thank you, and thank you for um, highlighting this Women's World Cup. I appreciate that. Okay, so Dallary, uh, my first question is, uh, this is the first edition of Women's World Football Cup and it's going to take place today. Uh, so for our viewers, can you please tell us the background of this historic game and uh, how excited are you? This is, um, I, I am, I, I, we have been trying to uh, host a Women's World Cup for more than uh, two or three years now. And because of the COVID restrictions, um, we have been delayed and delayed as many things have. And so once things became safe and there was the opportunity, the Tibetan Sports uh, National Association reached out to us and said, uh, we are very interested in promoting our women's team and promoting our, uh, our organization and our facilities and uh, we're upgrading and we really believe we can host a global event. And in, uh, in just a very short time, it, uh, they are about to put on uh, a really world-class event for women from all over the world. And we're thrilled and we're thrilled that Tibet is the host. It, it, couldn't, it couldn't be more exciting. Okay, and uh, we also know that uh, there are three teams playing in the CONIFA Women's World Cup this year. And for the first time, uh, Tibetan women's uh, football team under the uh, Tibetan National Sports Association will participate in the game today. So uh, can you please tell us why Tibetan uh, women's team? So Tibet is, um, it is a unique um, uh, cultural identity and it is uh, linguistically unique, and it is not represented in FIFA. And so as a non-representative in FIFA, they have an opportunity to reach the highest platform on the international stage of playing uh, football. And so we welcome organizations and communities of uh, <clears throat> uh, like the Tibetan uh, National Sports Association. And so we think that Tibet represents Kanifa most uh, most strongly. And we felt that the opportunity to host this event in, in, to, in the Tibetan settlement would highlight not only the Tibetan women and the Tibetan people, but also the other teams that are also attending. And so this is a, this is a cultural celebration of, uh, of all people, including the Tibetan people. Okay, and uh, talking about the other teams, I'd like to mention, uh, we have, uh, there are three teams this year, uh, the FA Safmi, uh, Mother Belaland FC, and Tibet NSA. And as a, a global uh, women's director, and your, uh, your work toward managing this uh, game, can you tell us uh, how, how is the format of this game uh, is made? Uh, made? So, so all teams will play each other twice so that it's kind of like a home and away fixture. And they will uh, have, so each, each team will have two games against the other team. And then at the end, the points of those games will be tallied. And then the, the team with the uh, most number of points will be awarded the first uh, place and then second place and third place based on those on those uh, having played each other uh, twice. Okay, and uh, also uh, being the director and uh, organizing the tournament, um, 
what are the challenges that you have uh, uh, seen so far and how uh, essential it is to have a woman play the international uh, football tournament under the CONIFA? This is, um, this is such a wonderful question because um, what is at the heart of these teams is a resilience and a persistence in spite of all the obstacles. And there, there are many, many obstacles. There are, uh, there, there of course are the, 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 the global uh, pandemic was, was enormous obstacle. And that continues to be um, a very challenging uh, 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 barrier to overcome in terms of bringing people together and being able to travel. There's a lot more, um, there's a lot more administrative responsibilities in, in terms of, uh, of traveling. And then there's a lot more paperwork in terms of visas. Visas are not, uh, travel visas are not particularly easy in terms of uh, um, coming to different countries. So, um, uh, the players um, can't just get on a plane and 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 travel to India. They, you have to go through a whole process of the of the uh, of going to the embassies, and then and then once you get through all of that, then there is um, the expense, and there's and and that is a a challenge for every team is to raise the kinds of uh, funds to be able to participate in a global event and to. Um, achieve their, um, their, their dreams by, by playing at this level. So when you see these teams playing, getting on the field it, in and it of itself is, it, there, are, there are many, many obstacles and barriers that get in place and it requires a great deal of, of resilience and persistence. And so you, you will see uh, very, um, very strong, very determined Women playing because because uh, it it isn't uh, it isn't easy, but the challenge is worth it, and we know the challenge is worth it because when we see the women play, we see them express themselves, we see them have joy, um, we see them working together, we see them um, working uh, uh, on their strength and their power and their. Um, and, and their self-expression. And all of those things matter to women uh, who are playing and they matter for uh, the women that they, and the girls who are watching them play. So they become incredible inspirations for uh, their communities and beyond their communities. So I may not be from the Satmi community. I may not be from the Montebello land community. I may not be from the Tibetan community, but I am deeply inspired by watching these women um, uh, play. I'm, I'm deeply inspired by what, uh, seeing their passion and their commitment um, toward each other. And, and then I'm, I, I, feel, uh, I feel some pride for them when they feel pride in who they are. And so I, I've seen the Tibetan women wear uh, shirts and, and have um, backpacks that say, I'm proud to be Tibetan. And, and that, that gives me um, a lot of hope and a lot of, uh, of warmth when I see that people are proud to be who they are. And the sport of football and this event is, is, not, is not just allowing the, these women to, to, uh, to express themselves and, and to, um, to be proud about themselves, but they're celebrating it and we're all celebrating it. So we're celebrating each other and we're celebrating um, uh, women's football on, on a global stage. And, and I'm, I'm just so proud of the Tibetan um, women's team and I'm so proud of the Tibetan um, Sports National Association for, for putting on this event um, and for putting such a focus on their women's team and giving their women's team uh, an elevated um, place. I agree, Dallary. It's a wonderful celebration of uh, getting people from different parts of the world and uh, sharing this experience together, playing football, a uh, women's football team this time. And uh, in fact, uh, just a few hours from now, uh, the game will start in Pontosaib. So uh, with that, I'd like to ask you uh, the last question. Um, uh, what do you expect out of this first edition of CONIFA Women's uh, World uh, Football Tournament? 
Well, I, I expect um, that uh, the football is going to be really good. I, I do. I, I think that um, the women who are playing, um, they love the sport. They care about the sport and they haven't been able to play for two years. So they're going to go out and really give the fans and the, and the, um, and the viewers uh, a really fun experience watching them play. It's they're going, they've been working very hard for this. And we know the Sapne team has uh, had arrived a, a few days early and they've been training. And I've seen uh, the Tibetan team has uh, had matches and they've been training. So um, I, I expect some very competitive, um, very passionate um, games. And then I, I, I think that in at the end, I expect um, uh, the friendship and uh, and the respect and and the and the appreciation and gratitude um, will will be you will you will feel that and you will see that as you watch the games and you'll know that uh, that the two teams um, will have enjoyed playing really good football um, with each other. It's, I think that it's, it's going to be an, it's going to be, this is, this is going to be an exciting game. The, the, this first game is really going to um, uh, set the momentum and, and uh, you know, who knows, it, it, it may be that the, the, the team that comes out victorious today uh, is the team that comes out victorious in the end. Okay. And the, uh, so we're rooting the, for them all. Same here. <laughs> Uh, the first uh, match will be between uh, FC Stavmi and uh, Tibet NSA. So we from the Tibet TV also wish uh, them <laughs> good luck for this first match. And um, uh, Dallary, it was so wonderful to have you here today uh, talking to us. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having us. And, um, and best of luck to all the teams and best of luck to the, to the Betten women's team as well. Uh, women football is uh, booming all over the world and of course Tib the Tibetan uh, women team should be a part of that and for Kunifa to be able to create a global platform uh, and a window towards the world uh, is a huge uh, thing for us, really important. And now when we have this uh, Kunifa Women World Football Cup here in Panta Saib, the first ever tournament in Kunisa, Kunifa's history. We, we are nine years old uh, uh, as an or organization, and for us this is a huge, huge milestone that finally been reached. And this is just the first step for, for uh, a long future for women football in, in Konifa. And what I really, really, really like is that all, also that our uh, members decided together, because we are a democratic organization, that the teams that uh, participate here in Ponta, they will automatically be, be qualified for the next Women World Football Cup in 2024. So this is uh, the first step of a long journey together, hand in hand, which is amazing. With this, we have come to the end of today's In Conversation with Tibet TV. The Konifa Women's World Football Cup will begin at 5.30 p.m. this evening at Ponta Saib. So stay tuned and watch all the live stream matches on Tibet TV's Facebook and YouTube page. See you all until next time.